All right. Well, good morning, everyone. We'll go ahead and get started. Um, thank you all for joining us for the 2020 um, Andes Awards presentation. Um, this is the fifth annual celebration of the Andes Awards, um, which started as a collaboration and a partnership between the California Central uh, Nevada chapter of ASID and Las Vegas Design Center. Um, we typically host uh, the awards presentation each year during summer Las Vegas market. Um, as we all know, things are a little bit different uh, these days, and so we've had to move the presentation online um, onto a virtual presentation, but we're thrilled to be able to share the winners with you today and welcome a wonderful speaker uh, we have that's going to walk us through um, today's awards and presentation. So um, as we proceed here, we will just one sec. We go. All right. And again, I'd like to thank our sponsors before we get started. California Closets, as well as Furniture, Lighting, and Decor, um, our media sponsor. And um, without further ado, I would like to go ahead and introduce today's presenter. Um, we are blessed uh, to be able to have Regan Jane um, present our awards today. Um, Regan has been a great partner of Las Vegas Market for the last several years um, and is a, a, a well-renowned designer, entrepreneur, uh, lifestyle expert, and philanthropist uh, based in Los Angeles. Regan is an experienced and accomplished interior designer. Her resume boasts enterprises that span the gamut from custom design, designing personal creative music studios to managing international real estate projects with full staff. Her design savvy is well sought after by clients in almost every industry, including a double platinum selling recording artist for whom she designed an elaborate home complete with a tailored wardrobe room. Regan honed her design skills working as a creative director and marketing professional for a luxury yacht manufacturer, and she staged yachts in-house and traveled internationally for cons consultations with her Dubai clientele. Those unique experiences set the stage for more exceptional design opportunities. Um, and so without further ado, we will go ahead and jump in with Bregan. Bregan, feel free to take it away, and thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Kane, for the introduction, and thank you for inviting me to be a part of this year's celebration. It's, it's always a pleasure to recognize outstanding interior design and winning an award can mean so many things. And I know for me, it can definitely be humbling. It's rewarding because it tells us that all our hard work has actually paid off. And, you know, best of all, it's exciting because it's validation of what we have achieved in this ever-changing, challenging industry. An interesting time. So I'm so excited to hand out these awards. First up is Best Residential Bathroom. And our, should I do a drum roll before every one of these? Our, our winner today, are we ready? Is Wendy Glaster. And Wendy is the principal of Wendy Glaster Interiors, an award-winning Full service interior design firm in Northern California. And Wendy has been participating designer in California for 14 years. Most recently, Wendy was published in Traditional Home, Modern Luxury Interiors, and Furniture Lighting and Decor, just all of them. Um, and her projects have also been featured in national campaigns um, all over uh, for Grizo and Kohler. And Wendy was recently named as one of the top 50 interior designers in California uh, by Bright Tech. Guided by a design philosophy that places the needs, preferences, and aesthetics for the client at the forefront. And we see that here. And this project is after 30 years in a home that she built, um, you know, a home built together by a hardworking couple in the heart of a farming community, decided to hire Wendy for this project and build an addition onto that house. And what I am seeing here is comfort and room, and I am loving the his and hers vanities and that deep soaking tub. Don't you just want to crawl in there? They, they are set up for this moment in life. That is probably exactly where they are recharging. And the sparkle that she has carved out just made its way into this space with custom design, 
made leaded glass windows and those cabinet doors. I mean, Wendy, look, you did an excellent job and that's why you are our winner today. Um, I wanna point out the Swarovski crystal drawer poles, those little details, the crystal sconce and chandelier with the Venetian glass mirrors. It just completes this interior. And with, with views of their beautiful almond orchard beyond the picture window. So I love how she just brought that outdoor space in. And for this client specifically, it really embodied their mutual love for their area that they have cultivated their life in together. And the luxury of a place designed with their particular aesthetics and needs in mind, I think is what really stands out about this project, Wendy. And congratulations to you. Who's ready to take a bath now? <laughs> I know I am, but we have a lot more awards to give out. And Best Commercial Design is the next award we have up. And our winner, we get two winners today. We need that in this moment. And both Jamie and Laura did a congrats. Uh, they worked together on this project as a collaborative team. And this project is a collaboration um, and this dynamic duo have over 45 years of experience. Jamie is nationally certified through the National Council of Interior Design Qualifications and a professional member of ASID. She's also a speaker, don't judge me, I'm doing my best here, an interior designer educator who promotes changing lives by changing your environment. Laura brings to the team an amazing creative eye for unique projects. Her background is not only in education of interior design, but she has specialized in work-life integration design. We need that right now. <laughs> Together, they create an engaging environment, working and living spaces. They believe that design certainly impacts the work performance when you integrate human experiential needs in a working environment. I think everybody who's tuning in right now can relate to that. We are all working from our homes and I am sad to be missing market. And look at this beautiful work. So this was a, the inspiration for the green room here came from intense colors of a desert sunset. And it's just so bright and beautiful. Um, and this is a customized digital wrap with like mystical smoke and guitars that encompass the whole wall of that back room. And this client on this work is Zappos, I wanna say as well. And boy, do they have a beautiful office and congratulations to you. That is a fun client to work for. And I love how they just leaned into the creativity here because that company's philosophy encourages their employees to have a social experiment. And we can really see where you've married your work life integration by creating this environment where you can build relationships with like like-minded fellow workers. And this makes people more productive and creative and definitely a workspace more enjoyable. And we see that and are happy to celebrate you here today. Um, this is a repurposed old piano that they painted a soft peach sherbet. And I love that. They took something old and just breathed new life into it, um, which is always a talent. The next slide is of um, the Fender Guitar Company joined in on this venture and they were able to feature their various guitars and any, anyone from an unskilled to advanced musician can come in this space and have a try. You really have outdone yourselves on creating a creative space. Um, and I, I love this here, it's just got extra energy and creativity, combining work and play, and help just innovate the atmosphere. Um, they also, in this project, did a custom wall unit, and it was designed with a walnut and wood veneer interior that duplicates the wood on the guitars, of course. The creativity is just seen in each one of these images. Um, and those are ever-changing LED strips. Um, that not only highlights the instruments, but it intensifies the mood of this whole room. 
The designers chose the guitar from Fender's new 2020 colors to complement the room's desert palette. And you can just see that come together magically. Congratulations, Jamie and Laura. This is a beautiful project. I would love to work there. <laughs> our next up is our best custom furnishings design category. And our winner here is, I'm trying to give it away. Oh, Emily Roos. Congratulations from Truck Cree, California. Emily is a principal interior designer and has a decade of experience in this industry. Emily has a passion for furniture and design and, her, and has custom designed numerous pieces for her clients, dining tables, credenzas, beds, nightstands, bookcases, media cabinets, and more. And Emily, Emily's interior, Emily Roos interiors, let me get that correct for you as we are handing this out to you today, is an award-winning luxury, high-end, full-service interior design firm. She has been featured by HGTV, it's a good family to be a part of, El Decor, Cottages and Gardens, Tahoe Quarterly Magazine, all of these, if you name it, it's Emily's been in it. Born in Southern California, Emily brings a blend of sophisticated style and luxurious resort living to her design work. Emily received a Bachelor of Science degree in interior design from the Art Institute of Pittsburgh, and she is an accredited home stager from the Haven Hill Institute of Staging and Redesign. And Emily's work is beautiful. Emily's clients, in this next slide you will see, they love to entertain. Um, and just, I love the base of this table. They needed to seat up to 12 people comfortably and the client wanted the seating to be a little bit flexible with a combination of chairs and a built-in bench. And Emily's design was inspired by Lake Tahoe, right? You can see that. Um, and using that natural landscape and organic and fluid tree branch to really bring that feeling through. Um, the custom dining table is made of an oak material and the table is designed with a 12 foot two inch oak slab top. And Emily chose to, a custom stain color to coordinate with the dining chairs and the built in banquette and the rest of the modern kitchen design. Careful attention, you can see here, was paid to the construction of the table base. Laying out the placement of the legs required proper distribution of weight so the table sits as solid as it does and it does not wobble but she did not compromise any beauty in achieving that it's functional and it's a true piece of art that her clients are so proud to have as a statement piece in their dining room and to share it with their family and friends I would be too I might need a table Emily <laughs> very good job on this piece it is hard to match beautiful design as well as function and you did it seamlessly and speaking of function and need, our next category is best hospitality design, which definitely has to take both in mind. And here we have, again, my favorite, it's always better when two win, right? And the meeting of the minds, congratulations to Karen and Casey on this project. It is gorgeous. Um, Casey is the owner and principal architect for the past 30 years with an MBA in architecture and interior design. He's driven to solve problems and make conceptual ideas a reality. Casey has successfully led many long-term and phased hospitality, gaming, restaurants, and event center projects, which all we now have their own needs. Um, because of the, the complexity, budgetary, and time constraints associated with many of his projects, Casey, Casey has developed a philosophy of intimately working with both the client and the contractor from project conception to the completion of the construction. And that is an art in itself. Karen's warm personality continually builds strong professional and personal bonds with clients. 
She loves to create a dynamic environment and experiences through color, texture, pattern, light, and form. She takes time to understand the client's motives and goals and how to translate that into personality and identify a space or property. Karen has over 35 years of experience in the office, restaurant, hospitality, high-end residential design, and has worked for MBA architecture and interior design for 27 years. Congratulations, both Casey and Karen. This project is a 5,000 square foot, state-of-the-art spa, but also hotel. So what we are looking at is one of the rooms reminiscent of a Mediterranean village. The Green Lodging Certified Resort is sprawled across 98 acres of lush vineyards and artfully landscaped grounds. I want to be there right now. <laughs> Previously composed of three separate guest room villas around the central courtyard, the inn now features five villas, each one positioned for tranquility and privacy. The new two-story terraced villas designed a V-court style, allowing every room to enjoy the beautiful vineyard views from either a private patio or balcony space. And I'm sure the guests appreciate that. Designed to reflect the beauty of the grounds and vineyards, all of the guest rooms feature sunlight-filled French doors, California king-size beds, plump-down comforters, feather beds, electric fireplaces, energy-efficient lighting, and high-end bath amen amenities. Please sign me up for a stay. <laughs> the 5,000 square foot state-of-the-art spa that I was mentioning is what we're looking at now. And that is a full service day spa and fitness room. In the heart of the spa, visitors will find an impressive space with floor to ceiling windows that invite the natural light to emanate throughout. Vaulted ceilings and natural design inspired by the 200-year-old heritage oak tree that sits just outside the spa doors. Features include a wellness relaxation lounge, a fire feature, a warm pool, outdoor pool, deck for enjoying the fresh air as you relax in the sun. I want to go. <laughs> We have his and her steam saunas, a private locker and dressing room. There are five treatment rooms with access to secluded garden patio area with seating that makes it perfect for celebratory groups as soon as, as, soon as allowed. This resort properly combines luxury, elegance, natural beauty of the wine country with the addition of 34 new vineyard viewed guest rooms, suites, and a spa. Providing a wine country retreat, this property includes premier services for relaxation, beauty, fitness, and retail. And now I need a vacation. <laughs> Congratulations, Karen. That is a gorgeous project and I can't wait to dip into that spa. You have me convinced. Thank you for making such a beautiful, beautiful space. Um, next up, we want to award Best Individual Residential Design. And the winner here, and it's only one winner, and you hold this crown all by yourself, Marcio Decker of Aspen Leaf Interiors from Reno, Nevada. Marcio, thank you for giving me an extra second to make sure I pronounce that correctly. Marcio is an interior designer and visual artist. Um, he earned his Master's of Interior Architecture and Design degree from the Academy of Art in San Francisco. Marcio's artistic talent, education, and sense of aesthetic frame his design approach of luxury spaces throughout Lake Tahoe, Bay Area, and beyond. His signature style is seen in the details. Properly designed ceilings, open spaces, and the coherence of the entire envelope. 
His contemporary designs transform spaces into personally tailored settings where people feel inspired, invigorated, and deeply connected to their surroundings. Marcio is inspired by travel and exploration of design hubs, as well as beautiful surroundings of Lake Tahoe, which is also on my list for a visit. <laughs> Um, in this first slide, Marcio incorporated compelling materials in this interior space, including natural stone and dark woods, along with rich textures and fabrics to bring depth to the airiness of architecture. Intimate furniture groupings offset the home's large scale throughout through careful space planning. I mean, we've got a bunch of different seating environments for everyone. Part of the media room, which is coming up next, was designed to be uh, the music area and includes a section of guitars, a game table with chess and backgammon, and a wet bar. Setting off the music area is bold and uniquely shaped rug, the royal blue and emerald green bar stools, along with the lush curtain fabric punctuate the space with vibrant color. This is probably a great environment to be at home in right now. I bet they're appreciating your work more than ever. And of course, this home has a media room. The media room is state of the art and expands the entire lower, lower level of the home. Marcio added modern flair to the home's traditional style, timeless and Functional concrete floors extends throughout with a few area rugs for splashes of color. Behind the theater seating, the custom designed curved walnut bar is two tiered, providing a, con a convenient shelf behind the sectional, built in, of course, with convenient USB ports. You thought of everything, and the bar stools provide that additional seating. Glass and gunmetal chandeliers hang above the classic blue pool table and the shufferboard table lines the adjacent wall. Plush seating and a giant screen fill the theater area of the space, which is flanked by stunning symmetrical glass and metal wine rooms. Acoustical ceiling panels perfect the sound. The sectional pillows and ottoman and coffee table were all custom made for this space. I would want that to be my home right now because you can relax and entertain yourself. They are grateful to have you and congratulations. One of my favorite areas of the home is always the kitchen. And so we have an award to give out today for best kitchen design. And the winner for best kitchen design is Christopher Grubb of Arch Interiors Design Group in Beverly Hills, California. We are neighbors, I love that. And Arch Interiors Design Group is an internationally recognized and award-winning interior and exterior design firm with an expertise in residential, commercial, hospitality, retail, healthcare, and beauty projects. They are based in Beverly Hills, California, and were established in 1994 by Christopher J. Grubb, who has become a prominent expert in the industry. The design group combines extraordinary talent and global experiences to create a nationally recognized worldwide that can be cutting edge or timeless and exceptional of each of its clients. Trying to read over all of these with the space that they deserve. And Christopher, you did a great job. His, his firm is regularly profiled in national and international magazines, books, television, radio, and other media outlets. Los Angeles Home and Decor Magazine named Arch Interior as one of Los Angeles' top 10 interior design firms recently. The firm had the distinction of winning both silver and gold for their penthouse projects at the W in Hollywood. Their design group's mission is simple. Develop interior and exterior designs that are distinctive and compelling and su of superb quality and individuality. And you can see that here in his work. 
This home is located on one of the most famous streets in the world in Beverly Hills, California. The client wanted to increase the size of the kitchen's footprint to have a large island they lacked prior. Access to the family room was impeded by a wall and as well as visual spaciousness with large windows and ceiling heights. This was a family of five and it was important to make it very functional, especially needing to be kosher with the extra required appliances and comfortable for guests to be in while food is being prepared. The clients also had a desire for classic architectural details, elegant, but not too traditional and formal. And you mixed all of that together here beautifully. It is hard to achieve that perfect mix of traditional elegance. And I see that here. The success of increasing the size from 423 square feet to 536 square feet was an existing overhang of a room on the second floor above was a natural stopping point to extend the kitchen. So they moved that out right there. And the overhang showed the former kitchen window. So this increase created beauty and the abundance of natural light. I love this kitchen. And the orchid and the flowers are beautiful touch that makes this feel like home. We also, not only want to address the kitchens in residential design, but we also want to award best multiple residential design. And the winner for best multiple residential design is Lori, Lori Brazer. I'm going to look at my notes to make sure I got your name right because this is beautiful work. Brazer, yes, and Lori Brazer, of House of Razor is in Sacramento, California. Lori is the owner and creative director at House of Razor in California. With over 10 years of experience in the industry, she brings her knowledge of design with her passion for finding joy in the everyday elements of home. She is a certified and award-winning interior designer. While creating livable and timeless design, her attention to detail from Conception to completion ensures beauty and function go hand in hand. A love of travel and a keen eye for graphics continue to inspire her projects with color and contrast, mix patterns and palettes to contribute to the innovative design process. Her love of curating each design is grounded in the belief that a home should tell a story in a creative and inspiring way and a place that epitomizes the joy of living. So important to have a joyful home. When Lori's clients were looking to purchase their home, they fell in love with the gorgeous landscape property out in the country. However, they knew the interior need to complete the overhaul. With requests for a modern farmhouse, Lori gutted this entire space and designed a timeless classic perfectly suited for the family's functions and entertaining needs. Now this entry here sets the tone for the home with its dramatic 12 foot ceiling, which I love a high ceiling and high contract black wainscot paired with a crisp white warm woods and brushed brass details. To me, this room is so elegant and timeless and just a beautiful space to walk into that entryway. Um, Lori also mixed crisp black and white palette throughout the home using brushed brass details and the hardware and lighting, as well as texture and organic elements in the woven counter stools. You can see those in the floating shelves and the natural white oak flooring. She kept the kitchen light with fresh, she kept the kitchen light and fresh, like it's beautiful and with Quartz Calcutta countertops on the white Premier cabinets and Black Island bases. A good tuxedo kitchen is a beautiful thing to execute. Along with that contrasting hardware and matte black and brushed baths and pendants that combine finishes, which I love doing. This is gorgeous. Double islands provide a designated space for cooking 
and prep while allowing the family and friends to hang out on a second eating island. Two islands, guys. It's all the rage. Two is better than one. <laughs> and the dining room provides plenty of storage with the light wood built-ins while adding gorgeous cut cutouts. Yes. Um, green velvet chairs around a walnut table. The artwork makes a stunning contrast that complements all the finishes and adds vibrancy to the space. That statement piece is the perfect standout in this room. Congratulations, great job, and I'm gonna need the info on where you got those chairs because they're gorgeous. <laughs> um, next up, congrats, Lori. We have best showroom design. And the winner for best showroom design is Michelle. Michelle Yule. I might be saying that wrong, but Michelle, congratulations to you. Michelle's design company, Natural Domain Interiors, has had the privilege of creating award-winning commercial and residential interiors, both locally and nationally for 21 years. Michelle's guiding principle is that the most beautiful interiors come from come to life from a dynamic collaboration between her clients' inspirations and the designer's skill and creativity and passion for innovation. And that is so true, Michelle. Michelle has a passion for ongoing education and training, continual exposure to cutting edge materials, and travel for inspiration to keep designs fresh and innovative. Exploring new materials and ideas combined with an MBA enables her to innovate in both aesthetic and result-driven manner, which is why we are rewarding you today, it shows. We are, this is, um, when Michelle was retained to create a 6,000 square foot booth for a luxury appliance company, and I remember seeing this by the way, featuring three brands for the 2020 International Builder Show, she hit the ground running. Um, in just four months, Michelle created several vignettes and displays responding to the brand guidelines, technical needs, and the PR aspect. I was, it, it was thrilled to be selected design of these vignettes and one of the most demanding projects she has ever undertaken. The kitchen is designed for a large home to feature larger scale appliances. The custom design hood with pots of brass banding tie in with the brass accents in the backsplash tile, the cabinet hardware and the counter stool. You literally created a space to sell beautiful product, and that's exactly what this space does. Michelle also designed a demo kitchen for the chef Curtis Stone. No pressure then. A live edge bar top for his plated foods and a custom herb garden made from pearl black onyx created the perfect space for this celebrity chef. I am sold. It is such a gorgeous space, and I'm sure he loved cooking in it. Um, the contemporary kitchen was designed to feature modern, streamlined appliances. Michelle boosted the wow with floating backlit ovens, backlit backsplash glass, and stone face drawers under the island countertop. And um, I totally remember this when I was there. Um, stepping out of the brand's typical sleek and modern aesthetic, Michelle created this farmhouse kitchen, which is up next. And I just love the juxtaposition between design and her ability to show the range of uh, variety that these products can be displayed in. She did a beautiful job here and I it stood out to me. Um, Congratulations, Michelle. We up next have best outdoor space design. Very useful right now. And this winner, we know, 
All righty. Christopher Grubb, you have won not one, but two awards today. And we know a little bit about Christopher, but I will tell you some more. Christopher has been called a style maker and expert design influencer by clients, editors, manufacturers, and producers alike. Christopher is also the president of the Beverly Hills-based Arch Interiors Design Group, the firm he established in 1994, and he is internationally recognized for his creative and unique work in the interior and exterior high-end residential, commercial, medical, health, beauty, and retail design products. He has been featured in books, hundreds of magazines, and new pa newspapers. I would think so. You won two awards here today. Christopher has been a guest on multiple radio and television shows, including reoccurring seeing appearances on LXTV and NBC, Martha Stewart Living Radio, and he hosts and produces design segments for the house tripster and the house tripster industry. The firm has received dozens of awards, <laughs> and here's another two, and is honored to be named the best interior design firm in Los Angeles and in California by several outlets, including, and in addition to being featured in an entire issue of World Architectural Magazine in Hong Kong with over 70 pages exclusively covering his work. And I want to show you that work. This, don't, don't we all wish we were there right now? <laughs> the backyard of this home was actually just a blank space. And the goal was to create an outdoor space as an ultimate oasis. The client request an all-encompassing outdoor retreat with a swimming pool, jacuzzi, fire pit, shower, outdoor bar, kitchen, plus space for lounging, sitting, and dining. The owner wanted the space to feel very natural with shades of sea-inspired blue and green. And you fit all that in there seamlessly. The client also wanted a fully functional outdoor kitchen, complete with refrigeration, grill, sink, and an area to mix cocktails. There was also an electrical panel located in the very spot that the kitchen needed to be. So configuring the kitchen and bar area took careful consideration. The designer concealed the electrical behind a cabinet and smartly arranged the appliances for each use. Overhead, a pergola helps to define the space and adds a little shade. Um, and LED lighting makes it easy to cook outside in the evenings. I cannot believe that that is hiding an electrical panel so perfectly. With the colors of the awning and material that you see here, um, they created a multi-faced and modern outdoor space. I want to jump in. <laughs> the result is an outdoor living area that's serene and welcoming. The perfect backdrop for an afternoon pool party, evening, dinner with friends, or even a moment of relaxation and solitude. Um, come, come to my house. I need one of these with all those things. <laughs> In, in California, these spaces are very important. And uh, being that you are the Beverly Hills neighbor, you knocked this one out of the park. Congratulations on both your awards today. And then next up, I think is such a fun award because we are honoring best student design. And there are many out here today, I'm sure, tuning in and watching and learning. And our winner for best student design is Marisol Correa. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, Marisol is a student from the California State University of Fresno. Marisol is a recent graduate of Fresno State University and an up and coming interior designer. And we are so happy to have you here today. During her time at Fresno State, she held numerous leadership positions, as well as being an active member of ASID chapter. We look to Marisol's bright future and this award will be the start of much future success. 
Marisol, you have entered a beautiful industry and I am so excited to share your passion with everyone here today. And as a young girl who is starting out myself once, I, I'm so happy to give you this award and you are already being recognized for the amazing work that you have begun and we wish you the best of luck. Marisol, um, graduated during this difficult moment that we're all in right now. And I think that we just also want to honor you as graduation at a time right now had to be difficult um, and not what you had planned for, but nothing is stopping you. Marisol was challenged to create an adaptive reuse of space for a nonprofit also something I love about this project, um, I really enjoy the heart of the space that she's making for the work to be done inside these walls. And I'm sorry, but I went off on a tangent, but I think that that is also another beautiful thing about this project and this work. Uh, developing a program which analyzed the needs of the disenfranchised population of the design solutions and for those who support that population. Centro de Justica, uh, Justice, I'm sure. I'm, I'm not the best at pronouncing everything, but it is a nonprofit organization that produces, provides resources to immigrants who are experiencing difficulties with their legal status. Very relevant right now. This center provides service such as healthcare, mental health, financial assistance to those in need so important. The population is often in need of housing, food, and clothing. Color theory and workspace design play a huge role in the layout of this center. Workplace design throughout strategies such as co-working and quiet spaces and flex spaces offer more balance, productivity, and impacting the employee's positivity. And everyone working there is making a difference and it's important we keep them happy and you did this here. Marisol chose four main colors to represent the Latino community. Green, white, red, and blue. Blue signifies justice, white implies fairness, and equality. Green symbolizes growth, harmony, and freshness. Red represents strength, power, and determination. And Marisol, that is the difference that design makes. These are purposeful, chosen colors that say so much more than just the beauty they provide. I love this space. Congratulations to you and best of luck. Thank you. And congratulations. All right. Well, thank you so much, Brigham. That was our last award for the day. Um, and again, congratulations to all of our winners, um, to all of the award recipients. Um, it's been a real treat um, being able to go through and dive into to these submissions, especially the, the winning submissions and um, just see everyone's creativity, everyone's talent. Um, on display and, and really that was kind of the goal of, of our creation of the Andes Awards um, early on was was to help recognize interior designers primarily from the West kind of within our region um, and and to be able to showcase the talent that that, that exists in, in Nevada and California and, and Utah and, and Arizona and, and some of our surrounding states so again thank you to to all of the winners and everyone who submitted um, awards for uh, the program, we know that it's it um, it takes some work and, and some effort to pull together the, the submissions and, and get everything ready to to share. And so, thank you everyone for your hard work, um, Bregan. Thank you so much for your time today. Um, it was great um, getting your take on on a lot of these these projects. I think you added some fun to it, um, and and obviously having having a, a, a designer of of your your stature be able to kind of walk us through the um, the group through these was was wonderful. Um, for those of you who may not be familiar with with Bregan, I encourage everyone to to give her a follow on social media, um, on Instagram. Um, she does some beautiful work herself, and 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 is just a really fun follow on on social media. So. Um, 
Thank you. Thank you, Kane. It was my pleasure. Yes, yes. And we will, um, oh, the thank yous continue. I would also like to thank um, ASID, our, our partner in the program, uh, the California Central Nevada chapter um, of ASID. Um, they, um, their chapter, um, really an, an ASID members, presidents, and their executives from around the, the um, from around the country made up our judging committee. And, and so thank you to, to ASID and, and your team for assisting with the awards and continuing to support interior design designers and interior design. Um, we'd also like to thank uh, one last time our sponsors, California Closets, as well as Furniture Lighting and Decor, our media sponsor. Um, and um, once again, thank you for all of the, the attendees and everyone that was on the call today. Um, we have, we did record the webinar, so we'll make that available to, um, to everyone. If, if you wish to receive it, feel free to reach out and we can send you a copy of the presentation um, in its entirety, along with, um, with Bregan's words um, presenting the awards. And um, couple of quick notes here for the winners um, we will have um, we will have a display at the upcoming Las Vegas market here in a couple of weeks um, in our kitchen and bath resource center all of the winning projects will be displayed on boards um, within the kitchen and bath resource center so if you are planning to come uh, to summer market um, feel free to stop by and, and take a look at those um, we will also have the the awards there for pickup from the winners if you um, are planning to to attend market. If not, uh, just let us know and, and we can go ahead and get those in the mail for you. Um, otherwise, for, for anyone else um, planning to attend market in a couple of weeks, we look forward to seeing you. We know things are going to be a lot different. Um, attendance is, is going to be a lot less than it normally is. We'll have people spread out. We've got a lot of safety uh, procedures and, and protocols in, in place um, to create the, the safest possible environment for, uh, to conduct business and for those who are attending. So for those that are, um, we look forward to seeing you here in a couple of weeks. Um, for those who aren't, uh, we hope to see you soon down here at the Design Center or at one of our upcoming markets. So on behalf of Las Vegas Design Center uh, and International Market Centers. Um, thank you again, Bregan. Congratulations uh, to all of the winners. Um, and thank you as well to everyone who submitted. And we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Have a good afternoon.